for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff. Especially free tactical gear stuff that actually fit into loadouts or uh, play styles that I'm a big fan of. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at today, as the title would suggest. These are 3D printed solid holsters for the Nerf Trailblazer. And uh, they're really quite fantastic, just like all of 3D printed solids holsters and pretty much everything they make. Uh, and I'm going to go into the details on them and similarities to previous ones and all that jazz. But first, let's go to the woods and do some running about. So here I am in my arena with my holsters and my blasters. Quite fetching, don't you think? I like the look. Anyway, they have all the same features as pretty much every other uh, 3D printed solid holster that I have. Uh, reviewed, they attach to a belt, they have leg straps, This one, these ones have two leg straps so it's nice and secure, very adjustable, I did have to extend the upper ones here because I have girthy thighs, but the lower ones fit just fine, and I was able to adjust them to a height that's just right for me, so I can easily reach them, and uh, as with most of the 3D, well actually all the 3D printed solid holsters that I've reviewed, it's very easy to draw, and holster without having to look, which is just really, really nice to be able to holster it without having to look down, take your eye off what's going on. It's, uh, it's lovely that way. These are a little bit trickier because they're a little bit longer than hammer shots. Hammer shots go in a little bit smoother, um, but with enough practice, you can get it down pretty quick, I'm pretty sure. Lovely, lovely, lovely. They do retain. They do have a, 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 pit or a, a retaining clip. Train! So, no matter how much running about you do. Nope, dead end. They're not going anywhere. They don't even rattle much. It's, they're really nuts. There comes that train. All right. Go back to the shop, talk about all the rest of the stuff. Yes, so they, uh, they are just as good as any of the other holsters I've gotten. In fact, if you compare them to the hammer shot holsters that I have and have been using for years now, they are, from externally, they're practically identical. Um, same basic size, same basic shape, uh, where they differ, of course, is the the interior. So they are not even remotely uh, cross compatible. So this one will fit in here, but it absolutely will not fit in here, and and vice versa. Uh, one of the big differences is the hole in the bottom, which you can see there. Uh, that is obviously a very different shape on the two, based on the blasters, as one would expect. Now, one thing, uh, one alteration I've made to these since I got them um, is I added the dart holder. These ones came with dart holders on both sides, but I never used the back ones because they were kind of in an awkward position. So I transferred them over to here. Uh, I don't know if they come with them or if you can get them added, but having extra dart storage on your holster is just a really cool idea. Now, the hammer shot, it held five, and that is how many rounds a hammer shot will hold. A standard one, my HVZ ones hold six, of course. Um, and these blasters hold eight, and that's only five. I'm sure they could make one that made eight, just make it a little bit taller. Anyway, that is neither here nor there. The holsters are lovely. They do have a retaining clip on the inside there that locks the blaster in place, so it's not gonna fall out, but it comes out really easily when you pull. Um, the other thing that is slightly different from the hammer shot one is that these have two leg straps where the hammer shots only had one. So this has a, a different plate that it's all screwed to that's a little bit bigger. The straps are adjustable, though unlike the hammer shot one, the hammer shot one had one section that was elastic, which is nice. It makes it fit, it makes it very comfortable, but those will wear out in time and you can actually see it starting to warp because of how long I've used these. But um, these ones are simply adjustable. I did have to extend the upper strap in order to get it to fit on the, uh, fit around the prodigious girth of my thighs. But that was easy enough. I have some, uh, Velcro strapping that's, um, 
double, it's got the fuzzy side on one side, the hooks on the other side, and you can just use it to extend any Velcro strap. You can get it at Joann's, it's cheap. Um, so yeah, very adjustable. I also did adjust the height in order to get it to where I wanted it to be able to reach it when I draw. That's also fully adjustable. I did replace the buckles with the ones that are on my standard belts. So yeah, all of that is very easily adjustable and very, very nice. Good, solid designs. Um, one thing that uh, did come up when I got sent these is um, he had only designed a right-handed one because that's what most people want, but I like dual pairs. So he made me a left-handed one, but all he did was mirror the image in his printer and the problem is is that these blasters are not completely symmetrical um, they would be if it weren't for this cutout so this side has these nodules this side does not and he is so exacting in his tolerances that he took that into account so this opening on this side accounts for those nodules this indent on this side accounts for the lack of nodules but that means that if you mirror this uh, in order to print it so it'll screw to the left side, that's backwards and you won't be able to get the blaster in. Luckily it was very easy with a Dremel to just make it symmetrical and I, I know he's fixed it since then because I mentioned it and I don't know whether he actually, you know, flipped that plate on the bottom or if he made the, the cutout symmetrical. I would hope he makes the cutout symmetrical and if he's watching this, hopefully he'll take that into account, because people have developed a 3D printed part that adds those nodules to this side. And you wouldn't be able to put this in the holster if it didn't have that cutout. Uh, obviously people could dremel it the way I did and just make it fit, but something to keep in mind. Um, he also put my logo on them because he's just so super cool. So yeah, um, these are pretty nice. Or they're, they're every bit as nice as the hammer shot ones. The, uh, the difference is that I don't like these blasters as much as I like hammer shots. Uh, at least not stock. You may have noticed, those of you that are paying close attention or who have watched my fan mail videos, may have noticed these are not entirely normal. These grips are the wrong color and uh, a different shape. And yes, I'll be going into that. I'll have a whole video on that. And on, in that video, I'll probably go over my general thoughts on the Trailblazer. So anyway, if you are a huge fan of the Trailblazer, and I'm sure many people are, because it is an eight-shot hammer shot with a longer barrel, very cyberpunk look about it. And so, yeah, if, if you're into that, these are almost certainly the best holsters. Especially because the design of the Trailblazer is such that it doesn't fit in double AK pouches quite as well as the hammer shot does. It, it's a little, the, the center of gravity is off because it's taller and it's a little bit narrower and so they, they don't fit quite as perfectly as a hammer shot does. You, I'm sure they probably do fit. Let me, let me just, let me make sure I'm not just making stuff up. How, how dare you? How very dare you? What, I, yeah. They don't go in quite as well and they sit a little bit higher, but I think I may have been, uh, overstating how poorly they fit. They will fit in a double AK pouch, uh, but these work much better. Anyway, there you have it. 3D printed solid holsters for the Trailblazer. If you're looking for something like that, link will be in the description. Check out their stuff. They have all of the coolest stuff. So my thanks to them for sending this. And my thanks to you for watching. Mwah! Stay tuned tomorrow to find out about the grips. <laughs>